told you about the snake that fell from Lynn's balcony. Every time I open the door, I'm concerned that it's going to fall on my head. And after a warm Saturday, the serpent stories continued. Melanie found this small snake inside of her Huntersville home. Instead of a house in Gaston County, Anna spotted this giant rat snake settled in her birdhouse. Yes, it is unfortunate they eat bird eggs, but they eat other stuff too. Rodents, mice and rats. Sean Amadon has owned more than four dozen snakes along with cold-blooded wildlife encounters. If we didn't have snakes like this around, it would really, really uh, cause lots of problems in the food chain. He's no snake hater, instead an educator. Really, they're just a great animal. They're just very, very interesting. So what's the real reason for the rise of serpent sightings? When the warm weather comes, they start coming out after out of hibernation, looking for some food and looking for some breeding. Sometimes they're looking for love in all the wrong places, like inside your house. If that's the case, you know, all you got to do, get a broom or something and just kind of chase it out the door. It doesn't want to be in your house. It wants to be, you know, out in the wild where it can find food. Amadon says there is no real resemblance between rat snakes and copperheads, the most visible venomous snake in Charlotte. But you should give every wild snake you encounter plenty of distance. They don't all come as calm as melee, but all rat snakes do provide a service worth having if you find one around your house. Reporting in Union County, I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte.